How's it going everyone? This is Chris ADF and welcome back to Halo Combat Evolved PC gameplay. Uh, last time we left off guys we started the 2 Betrayals map. We have been dying so much in the game which is ridiculous. And we are almost halfway done with this level actually. Oh dang. Oh Dude how does that do damage on you? Really? I'm gonna die. Yeah I knew it. But that was questionable, how did that not hit him? Come on, come on, let's lure literal. There we go. I'm really wasting the grenades here. Okay, at least, hopefully, he drops a weapon. Nope. Okay, there we go. Now let's get the shoddy ammo. We got 13 rounds to make you count, Mike. Okay, okay. Oh, dang, oh, dang. Right behind us. I hate it when they melee you on the back because that is a, basically a one hit kill. Even for the chief, man. Even for the chief. Okay, looks like. Dude, this is gonna be hard. We only have a couple bullets. Five bullets. That did it. The pulse generator overloaded. One more to go. Okay, okay, we good, we good. Oh dang, oh dang, oh dang, oh dang. Nope. Nope. You guys stay there. Oh, you wanna come fight me, bro? Get the snipe. Last shot, make it count, mate. Okay, now we go, we have to basically go backwards now and go to the other side. I've located the pillar of autumn. You know what? That's a one bar banshee. Let's be a little spin. smarter. Energy reading and get show this her one right here. Brand new. Powered up. Year to date, the systems man. on the Pillar of Autumn have fail safes even I can't override without authorization from the captain. We'll need to find him or his neural implants to start the fusion core detonation. That tunnel leads to the next section of canyon. The final pulse generator we need to destroy is still there. You don't surprise the foot can't hijack your, your Oh dude. I totally forgot there was a rocket launcher guy right there. Shocked that the flood does not hijack your vehicles. I think it's in Halo 2 when I they started the doing that. She put down which was pretty awesome. You know the hijacking mechanic on the Halo 2 games and that, that I loved it. It was brand new. I remember just trying to hijack any vehicle man. Especially in the campaign just trying to hijack all of it. Oh they shoot one over there. Oh dude. That was close. There's two rocket guys right there. Let's not mess with them right now. Good thing they don't have lock on. Okay, now we have to open this. And I know there's going to be a couple of fatties rolling through here. Back up. Let's back up. Come on, mites. Wait, does it even work on them right there? Oh, there we go. Trying to at least get as much damage as I can right there because I only have one bullet. Literally and two nades. This is a very unfortunate situation. I need y'all to come help me. Oh dude, this is gonna be hard. At least there's no no web ammo anywhere. But yeah, I could basically go all the way down there with a banshee. I'll see if I could do it right. Like whenever I get the banshee, because it, it does have to be on that side of the level. We have to come get the banshee to come back in here, and you can go all the way straight down. Okay, I think there is one guy with a rocket launcher right now, and I messed up my only shot. Yeah, hey, let's take that as a reset. And I know there is a guy with a rocket launcher probably over here. Come on, come on, come on. Yep, I knew it. That's the thing is, I do not have ammo at all. So this is going to be a hard situation. I could go back and get the rocket launchers off those two guys, but I really don't want to backtrack and risk it. Even though we're not that far, but I don't want to keep dying. So I'm going to have to launch that nade back there. So let's see how we can play this out. Okay, 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 okay. Come on. 
Boom. Yeah, okay, okay, we good, we good, Gucci. Aw, oh, dude, I wish. Oh, okay, we have a plasma nade. Let's try to get these two together. Oh, dude, come on. I don't think this guy can hit because he has he doesn't have his other arm. Okay, so we good. He's harmless. He's just gonna chase us now. Come on, buddy. We got a new companion here. Okay, so this is the plan. We have to throw this nade right on time. Right there. Okay, now this is gonna be the issue is trying to get past by them. Well, if this guy trying to snipe us with a rocket launcher. Oh! Dude, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? No. Okay, let's go get this over here. Come on, come on. Oh my god. We're very close here. Very close. I hope this guy does not have a rock launcher. Oh dang. He does. Get out of his hand. Out of his hand, please. Oh dude, we got lucky there big time. We we had the biggest luck right there. Luckily that flood guy with the rocket launcher shot his own people. So we Gucci. Okay, let's uh get another plasma rifle. And let's just head back. So we have to open this door now. And let's do that. But yeah guys, if you guys are enjoying this let's play, uh please leave a like. Please leave a comment down below of what your favorite part of the game is or any game that you're playing right now. What is your fit top fairy game? Leave a comment down below and also please subscribe and ring the notification bell for future videos to get notified. But yeah, I've been trying to, ever since I bought my new uh, editing software, I've been trying to implement different types of editing. Especially like more variety on editing also. Instead of just like, uh, like basically splitting and then deleting, copy paste and all that. I'm trying to implement more and more, you know, trying to learn of it. Trying to utilize the tools in a sense. But yeah, I love this level because you never saw it at nighttime, man. It looks so nice at night. The final run. Okay, so we basically have plasma rifle and full health, which we'll make do with this. So I know we have to go that way. Okay, there is blood right here. Okay, let's see. At least that fatty took care of us. Took care of most of them. I really wanna. Ah, oh, dude, really? Dude, why is everyone coming for me? Really? They're split right in front of you. Dude, this sucks. Everyone came for me. Is there any weapon, man? Any, any good weapons that I could utilize like a sniper? This is when I should have had the... The rocket launcher, man. Come on, come on, come on. Dude, this turn is annoying. And this banshee too. Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm trying to focus up here. Oh. Dude, oh, he tried to run me over, really? Okay, at least he's dead. At least I think his arm is off. Really? Come on, dude. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. Okay, this guy's not gonna do much. Oh yeah, but those guys are. Oh my god, this is gonna be... This is gonna be a tough area. These levels get more tougher by the minute. Okay, let's go this way better. Let's go around. Because I know we can't go through that cave anymore. I'm trying to scratch away at that banshee real quick. Because I know that that, ca that cave is caved in. So we have to basically go around. I really don't want to attract all that flood right there, man. I only have 76% of plasma rifle ability. Well, plasma rifle ammo. Hail Mary! Oh, 
Okay, let's get that. Oh, we good, we good. Oh, let's go. Oh. You ain't doing that. You ain't doing that. Let's try to get that right there. Really? Come back for me, really? Oh, I wish I could. I wish I could steal hijack banshees in this game, man. That would have been so useful. All right. Okay, I think we got the rocket launcher, bros. So I'm gonna keep the rocket launcher and probably switch to this weapon out whenever I could. Okay, these guys see me now. Okay, this guy can't kill me because he has no arm. So we take care of his other buddies. Yeah, but these guys are pretty creepy, man. Look at that. Imagine that coming at you like in real life. That'd be pretty scary, man. Pretty spoopy. Okay, so let's get this ghost. Because I remember I used to come out of that tunnel with a rocket launcher, then take one of these ghosts real quick, and then just zoom by. So basically, we have to go up there. Which means... We have to get a banshee right at the beginning where we first started the snow level. Or barely got to this ground floor at the old level. I hope these guys don't- oh dang yeah. I was about to say that I hope these guys don't have rocket launchers. Because I know this level is very notorious for that. Cause yeah, I don't know where you get sniped by a rocket launcher. Whoa! But yeah guys, also I know Halo 2... Halo 2 Anniversary on PC is coming out the 12th. So be, be in tune also for those type of videos of Halo 2 campaign and multiplayer. I really want to do some multiplayer action on, you know, of Halo. But at the same time, I'm trying to wait. I want to wait a little bit to like, Halo 2 comes out to get more variety, like... So I could do different types of playlists, you know? Especially with different games. But I mostly play uh, the Action Sack playlist and Team Slayer and Team Snipers. Those are the three main playlists I'd probably do. I would I would so do Invasion, but I have no idea where that playlist is at. Okay, we get this. Let's get the sniper out. We're gonna need that snipey. We're gonna have to snipe some necks. Okay, we reloaded, we Gucci. So now we have to go this way and get a Banshee. But the rocket launcher does come in handy, especially in those small little rooms, man. Cause you could whenever whenever they come to those doors or when you EMP the lot like the signal. Oh you know what? I really don't wanna waste time trying to get that ghost up, man. Oh darn. So yeah, we have to get one of those over there. I know there's going to be a good amount of foot between here and there though. Wait, does that guy have a rocket launcher? Nah, these guys have uh, regular weapons. I know this is not ideal for Flood, man. Oh, dude. I knew one had a, had a rocket launcher, man. You know what? Let's get this ghost up there. Let's see if I could... Let's see if I remember how to do it. There we go. So, yeah. Let's basically hit the wall, make it go up, and then basically just... Let it flow out. Oh, dude. The tanks are destroyed, but now they're alive. So are you gonna hurry this up? Uh, excuse me guys, you guys are gonna die either way right now by the flood. And see you later Mike. Oh, I really don't want to get hit. Uh, I was gonna say what happens if that door is open, can we go all the way to the beginning of the level? That would be pretty awesome. But yeah, I'll, I'm gonna show you guys, if you guys, I'm gonna show you guys real quick uh, how to get down at the below that level. So we're gonna go back into that tunnel and then come back out. So I'll be, uh, I'll cut to it real quick, guys. All right, we are back. So this is basically, I just got the banshee, and then now we could go all the way down, I believe. Hopefully, I don't die. 
I'm pretty sure you could go all the way down. I'm not sure if they changed that from the original game, but I highly doubt it. But yeah, basically the old graphics, you see the floor. New graphics, you can't see nothing. I used to do this a lot in the games is just play the levels. Well, this is glitched out. So this is basically kind of an unfinished part. But I used to I used to do this type of things in the game is basically just try to figure out different boundaries. Or just trying to explore the out of bounds areas, you know. Which I find it pretty awesome. I like it. You know, there's a little quirks in the game which is pretty awesome. But I used to I used to try to explore or try to go out of bounds of levels, especially Halo 2. Halo 2, especially on the first level when you go outside in the space station, I used to try to uh, try to get out and try to explore a little bit of the space station outside. But sometimes there is invisible walls that you will run in. But yeah, this is one of the cool things I liked about this game is just trying to explore. Uh, don't tell me I have to reopen this again. Really? But yeah, guys, we're gonna head back up to that top level we had to go to. And I'll just cut to it real quick. Alright, we are back. So now we have to go get this right here. And we have some sentinels right here. And these guys do damage the Banshee pretty pretty fast. Jump off! Oh dude, no 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 no! Screw you guys, screw you guys. I think... I think this may be the last, very last... Uh, signal we have to disable. What? Okay, I missed that for sure. Can they come this way? Oh, -ho! I think we got two right there. Oh no, the other one's just damaged. Okay, there we go. We sniped him. No scope. Good wreck, mate. I think this may be the last one if I'm right. Final target neutralized. Yeah. Let's get out Noise. of here. Noise. Yes. Let's find a ride and get to the captain. No, that'll take too long. You have a better idea? There's a teleportation grid that runs throughout Halo. That's how the monitor moves about so quickly. I learned how to tap into the grid when I was in the control center. Unfortunately, each jump requires a rather consequential expenditure of energy. Something tells me I'm not gonna like this. But I'm pretty sure I can pull it from your suit without permanently damaging your shields. Needless to say, I think we should only try this once. Do it. That daredevil though. The Covenant network is absolute chaos. From what I've been able to piece together, their leadership ordered all ships to abandon Halo when they found the Flood, but they were too late. The Flood overwhelmed this cruiser and disabled it. The Covenant are terrified the Flood will repair the ship and use it to, es to escape from Halo. They've sent in a strike team to neutralize the Flood and repair the ship for immediate departure. I've got a good lock on Captain Key's CNI transponder signal. He's alive, and the implants are intact. There's some interference from the cruiser's damaged reactor. I'll bring us in as close as I can. Haha. <laughs> Upside down, bruh. Oh, I see. The coordinate data needs to be... Right. <laughs> Sorry. Wow, Cortana, you didn't know, really? But yeah, so basically, we have to go save Cat and Keys right now. Captain? Captain? I've lost him. But yeah, basically that is Captain Keys right there, which is basically a proto grave mine. The bare the beginning stages of a grave mine. Which is pretty interesting. I like how they go into the lore of the flood a little bit, man. Especially in this game. Like you don't really get into the lore, more lore of it until like Halo 2 and 3. Yo, just blazing through bros. Get back, get back. I know he had a shoddy right there. Wait, where is it? There we go. Hey, we got 24 rounds right here. But yeah, the thing about... The thing about the big, the last few levels of this game, like the past three is... Analyzing damage. 
the last two actually is that this you have kind of two types of enemies yeah, that powerful. attack you. You aggro power. them, they both come at you. All I detect down there are but at the same time, it's like they're fighting each other at the point. But when you aggro them, it's hard. So now we just have to jump into that pile of goo. We. We. Okay, now I can't see nothing. Okay, I don't need a flashlight on this. I know in the regular graphics I do need the flashlight, but the newer graphics are pretty bright. Which is a What happened? But yeah, like, this is why I like the new graphics. It lights the way up for you. The old graphics is pretty dark. Like that. Let's you needed a flat your flashlight to see you. through this whole level. Okay, really need to find a pistol just for a good measure. I just th I thought I saw a pistol right here. Oh, they're right there. Yeah, Mike. Let's reload this. Thought I heard. Huh? Are you hiding, Mike? But yeah, guys, we're gonna have to go save Captain Keys. We have to go back up and save Captain Keys, but we're gonna have to do that in the next episode. But thank you guys for tuning in and watching the video. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, please leave a comment, and if you can, please subscribe and ring the notification bell for future videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. Farewell, everyone.